DXB. It's in the game. Hey guys, it's me Ben, back with another one of my quick video reviews. This time I'm looking at Lethal League by, I believe it was, a Dutch developer, Team Reptile. Yeah, I found that from my notes. Uh, this game, well, let's talk about this quickly. Uh, I review a lot of the indie games that show up on the consoles. Because I love that. I love drawing attention to them and I love talking about them, especially when they've got a visual style and an amazing banging soundtrack and a cool sort of uh, game mechanic as we have here in Lethal League. However, this game has been out on PC since 2014. That's got to be the, one of the longest gaps between an indie release on PC and an indie release on consoles that I've seen thus far. You know, resources are a thing that it can take a while for these games to appear but it is a shame because i remember this game on pc and i remember getting a lot of buzz a lot of people talking about it and the fact that it's taken so long to show up on the console is a real shame because i think it's a perfect fit however the biggest detractor the biggest problem i've had with playing lethal league on xbox one so i can't talk to ps4 but on xbox one is the fact that the player base online is really small and it can take you quite a while to find a game sometimes now let's talk about the game when you see it in action here, it's actually quite easy to understand. Think of it as like a fighting game crossed with Pong. So in this game, you don't hit your opponent directly. You hit the ball, this anti-gravity ball, around the stage. And the goal is to hit it into your opponent to score. Uh, and then you know, obviously then you tick off the boxes and you get enough score. You win the round and then you win the game. It's quite simple to understand. Now this can be played with up to four players. In either like a free-for-all mode or four v uh, of all the players against each other. Or in a team-based mode. There is a single player, but there is very little fun to be had in that single player, I must admit. As is the case with every fighting game, the, the real fun is to be had in either couch, adversarial combat, or online. Now, I'm glad to say this game does offer the online, because like I mentioned before, it does take a really long time to find a match sometime. Obviously, you know, if you've got a group of friends, this is a, just a crazy good time to be had uh, on the couch. You know, the way the game plays, because it's not... A conventional fighting game because you're not directly attacking your opponent it gets very very hectic very very quickly and once you get that rally going once you build up the speed the ball is going at the most incredible speed and I was playing against when I did get some games online I was playing some people and I had the chat going and uh, you know and there was a very friendly community from the like few people I were able to play against and we were all getting so excited we were you know we not trash talking but like you know Things were getting heated, and you're screaming, and when the ball is flying and you hit an amazing counter, when you send that ball back at a million miles an hour, you know, you didn't think it was possible, but you got the timing just right, you've done this amazing move, it's super, super satisfying. So, the crazy kinetic combat, coupled with the awesome, crazy, weird, unique visual style, coupled with this really fun, engaging, electronic mashup soundtrack, it's such a cool experience. However, I don't think a lot of people are playing it. And because a lot of people aren't playing this fighting game, it's hard to recommend because, you know, you're going to be waiting and waiting and waiting to get an online game. However, if you've got three other friends that you know you're going to play with regularly on your couch, in your home, this is a must-get. So it makes it a difficult one to score because you can definitely see the pros, you can definitely see the cons, but I love how unique it feels, even if it did take years to arrive on the console compared to the PC version. Because of that... I'm giving Lethal League a damn fine. Four out of five stars. DXB. It's in the game.